Yahusha, I lift your name on high. Yahusha, I love to sing your praises. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the stake to the grave. From the grave to the sky, you shall I lift your name on high. High praises to Yahuwah Elohim. Most High, the Creator of the heavens on the earth, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who commanded and it stood fast. The one who spake and it was done. The one who commanded and it stood fast. Happy creation Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon of the fifth no, the sixth biblical lunar month. Elol 8. 6009. Yes, this seven days has ended since the arrival of the new moon for the sixth month and also the six working days. And so we are now probably a little, probably a whole hour into Yah's creation Sabbath of the first quarter of the sixth month, Elul. Eight six thousand and nine, and as we can see, Yahuwah, in his goodness, his faithfulness, and his love, has placed the moon. The moon is carrying out. It's job tonight, declaring that yours, creation Sabbath is here. And yours Sabbath falls on Saturday for four weeks for the month of September 20. 22 and Rome's Gregorian calendar. I don't plan to belong this evening. I just want to show us that it is your Sabbath. And I just want to remind us because we already know that your Sabbath is his great sign of loyalty between him and his people Yasharel who the Greek 
translators of the Hebrew scriptures call Israel because the Greeks along with Rome has falsified just about everything that Yah has given to his chosen people Yasharel. Your promise that not only not only the his Hebrew people would be saved by keeping his Sabbath, but also the strangers as well as the eunuch, eunuch, I hope I call it right, and the Gentiles. And that message is recorded in Isaiah 56 verses, verses 1 to, I think it's, Ten. So, this is your Sabbath. Let us keep it holy. I am also going going to remind us that at this moment, it is now one lunar year, nine months. Three weeks and three days since this rootless, soulless Pharaoh Rome system have been persecuting Grandmaster J for righteousness. It is clearly seen that Rome, this Rome system, is the enemy of Yah's Hebrew people, is the enemy of Yah's Sabbath. And anyone who any Hebrew black man that stand up to help Yahuwah's Hebrew people have been murdered, killed, and falsely imprisoned by this Pharaoh, Herod, Rome system. So it has not been an easy road for us, but Yahuwah promised full and complete deliverance and restoration to his Hebrew people. And I just want to remind us that we are favored among all the nations that are on the face of the earth. Yahuwah have destroyed kings for our sake and he will do it again as a mother of fact he is doing it right now we can see that the earth is in chaos 
Nations have risen up against each other. And so soon, soon, Yahuwah will gather his people from the four corners of the earth where he has scattered us among the heathens. So let us be of good courage. Let's not worry or fret because Yahuwah promised that Jacob shall return and shall have rest and secure and none will make him afraid. It is in our interest as Hebrew Yashalites from the 12 tribes to obey Yahuwah sincerely. Being obedience is our weapon. Being obedient is our defense because Yahuwah will come to our aid. Somewhere in Isaiah tells us that it is our iniquity that has separated us from our Elohim so that he cannot hear us. And so despite what we are going through, despite what is being done to Grandmaster Jay for teaching the truth and for seeking justice for his Hebrew brothers and sisters who the system have been murdering in the streets and in their home. Despite all of that, let's not be afraid. Let's be of good courage because our deliverance is sure and certain and we just have to wait upon Yahuwah to come true for us. But in the meantime, let us endeavor to give praise to Yahuwah and to walk in obedience. Let us be like our forefather Abraham, who did not begrudge to offer up his son, the son of promise to Yahuwah, because he had faith and confidence in Yahuwah that even if Isaac was dead, he would, Yah was able to bring him back to life. And so like Yahusha says, let us not fear, let's not fear those who can only kill the body, but let us fear him who are able to kill body and soul in hellfire. I notice that as Yahuwah deliver his people, Yasharel, out of Egypt, took them across the Red Sea, over the Jordan, 